It was the exclusive jailhouse interview you saw first on two at five o'clock. The man accused in a deadly stabbing on the University of Texas campus speaking out for the first time since that attack. Tonight we're hearing more of that 25 minute conversation, including why he says he was carrying a knife on campus in the first place. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer joining us now with new insight into this accused killer. Jen. Yeah, Kendrick's white admits that he often carried a knife when he was on the UT campus. He says he did it for protection. Kendrick's white says he woke up on Monday, May 1st and decided to skip his classes. He went for a walk around the University of Texas campus and took a knife, something he did often for protection. I know a lot of my friends carry guns and they open carry on campus. So I was feeling like I should be a little bit more protected. Police say white stabbed four people that day. Harrison Brown died from his injuries and three other students were hurt, including Stuart Bayless from Katy. So I feel completely awestruck that they told me that, that I'm being charged with murder, one person died, and I said, oh my goodness, I didn't think that something that was going on in my mind could actually go to a position where someone would lose their life. White talked about mental illness and admits he's been treated for it in the past. I am hearing slight voices and it's really, really weird, but I don't really want to go into that too much. Well, I talked to one of my, uh, my lawyer's doctors that they went to evaluate me. They said I might have schizophrenia and epilepsy, so I might need mental health counseling. Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss talked about how this could potentially play into the criminal case. I don't think you, you need to be Sherlock Holmes to see that he is setting up with this interview defenses based upon mental disease, mental defect, diminished capacity. White says even though he has no memory of the events that day, he's still sorry and is ready to face the consequences. I think if uh, I'm found guilty, then I do deserve it. Um, they did say that I might encounter death penalty, and if that is true, then maybe I do need to actually you know, pay the price for these crimes. And White tells us he has had three visitors since his arrest, his parents and his lawyer. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jennifer. You can watch the entire jailhouse interview, should you like to do that, on our website. Click to Houston.com. Just look for the story on the homepage. Hold on.